Hi, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video in my Valentine's Day card series. Here, simple but fun technique. I'm using Pippin. I'm using one of the stamps from the Wild Hair set, the small set. I'm using the hearts from the pound stamps. And this one comes from the sentiment stamp called Live the Life You Love. And I've just used the word love. That series or stamps comes in individual words. So it's really easy just to take the word that you want and stamp it on your card. So we'll get started. I'm using multifarious cardstock as always. The size that I'm using is an A6 size and that is 10 and a half centimeters by 15 centimeters. And the way that I get that is I'll take my A4 sheet of card and I'll cut it in half and in half again. So the size of an A4 sheet is 29.7 centimetres long. So one of your pieces of card will be 15 centimetres and one will be 14.9, but it works pretty well. So the three colours of Distress Oxides that I'm going to be using, Spun Sugar, Picked Raspberry and Festive Berries. I'm also going to be using Nocturne for the stamping. The first thing that I'm going to do is to create this strip here. Now for that I'm going to use some low tack stencil tape. If you don't have low tack stencil tape then you can mask this area off with some paper and tape. The proportions that I think work really well, two thirds, one third. So I'm doing it like this because then I get it straight. When I say two thirds, one third, one third, two thirds, more or less. I just think this stencil tape um, gives us some really good proportions. The low tack tape that I'm using is from Sweet Poppy Stencils um, because it doesn't mark the card. So I'm going to take, as I said, my three colours of Distress Oxides and I've got two blending sponges here. I'm going to use this one for the light and these two for the darks. So inking up my sponge and you don't have to be too precious or too careful with this one. So I'm laying down my sponge sugar first. Just a few pieces along this little panel. Then I'm going to take picked raspberry. I've chosen these colours just because I think they are Valentine's Day-ish, love type of-ish. Right, so I've got a bit of a mark there. I'm going to go back with my sponge sugar, go over it and make sure it blends in smoothly. It's not important that it's perfect. Now, if I'm using festive berries here, the more red you put on, obviously the darker it's going to be. I'm going to go back with my sponge sugar and make sure I can just blend in the edges of that festive berries. That's enough. Okay, that is all we're going to do with those colours. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take feather leaf stencil. Any of the Lavinia stencils will work beautifully with this technique because of the detail, they're fine, there's lots of space in between them. I'm going to put my stencil down. I'm going to take my spritzy water bottle and I'm just going to wet the stencil. I just put that piece of paper there because I didn't want any of the water to go onto my blending. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just tapping a bit of that excess water off because I don't want it too drippy. And I'm going to take a piece of kitchen towel and gently dab. I'm not 
moving the stencil at all. Pick up the stencil, that's what you have, and then I'm going to dab it again. You be careful not to pull it so that the colours doesn't don't smush. There we go. Look at that, isn't that fun? And then that is the beauty about this stencil tape. Look at that, I've pulled it off, not a single mark. And again, beautiful. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get my stamps ready now. So that fabulous, look at that, just the detail that that gorgeous, gorgeous stencil, did I tell you what it was called? Feather leaf, yes? Gorgeous stencil gives us. So the first stamp that I'm gonna take is the small one from the Wild Hair Set, the small one. And I'm gonna ink it up with Black Nocturne. Because it is a solid stamp, I'm just going to make sure that it's well inked. And as always, I'm using a stamp, an acrylic block, I mean, that's appropriate for the size of my stamp. I'm just gonna stamp him in the corner. And then I'm gonna take Pippin, and he's such a gorgeous stamp. He's so inquisitive. Of course, you could use any of the hairs from the small wild hair set. That would work perfectly. But I just love the fact that Pippin is slightly larger than those small ones. And I'm going to put him sitting just slightly above the previous one. Taking my pound stamp, my hearts now, inking them up still with black nocturne. And I'm just going to put that just a bit above them. So it looks like the love between them. Now, as I said, those words come apart. So you can just pick love on its own, ink it up. And I'm going to set it just a slight bit away from the hairs. That way you just get a bit of a space. Lovely. Then I'm going to take my stencil again, just cleaning it up here. And I'm just using water to clean it. I do clean my stencils both back and front so that if any and I'm just using a towel or kitchen towel here, only because I had it, I do use a cloth usually. There we go. So it's nice and clean and nice and dry. And then I'm going to just make sure it's completely dry, otherwise we'll get a mess. And I'm going to choose picked raspberry here. And I'm just going to lay my stencil over my hairs, ink up my sponge. And I just, I don't need to tape this stencil in place, I can just hold it. And I'm just going to create a bit of background to the hairs. There we go. Now you can see as I lifted it up to have a look, I held it in place with this hand because trying to position it after you've already done that is a nightmare. So I'm going to lift it up over here and again with my picked raspberry. There we go. So you can see I'm not stopping in a particular place. I don't want to have a line there. It's nice that this is sort of a bit variated as it goes along. So, literally, that is it. Then we're gonna mount it on some red card or pink, whatever you fancy. 
But there we go, a quick little Valentine's card with a couple of interesting techniques for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!